Hello there, this is Jonathan with the SS Motion bringing you another review of a McFarlane Series 1 Halo 5 Guardians figure. This is of course Spartan Lock of Fireteam Osiris and it is an absolutely fantastic sculpted figure, however it does have plenty of shortcomings which we are now get into. So this figure comes with some nice painted and sculpted detail. Overall the figure is really highly detailed, you've got some nice detail on the uh, head, torso, legs and arms. It's really well done, very faithful to the lock armour. Um, you even get some nice accessories as well, this battle rifle here, it has the yellow stripes painted on it correctly, you've got the nice recon sight on it, you have a nice little pistol that can peg onto his thigh here. A great figure in theory, however the articulation really lets it down. So articulation wise, this is pretty much as good as it gets for Spartan Lock here. Uh, he comes with some articulated arms and legs. They are all ball jointed like the Master Chief figure was, but they are extremely limited, I assume by how the arm has been sculpted. So detail is great, but if that detail has limited the posability, then that is a bit of a shame. Uh, basically, his arms can't do much more than this. He can raise the arms, so it can be like an aim down sight pose, but that's as good as it gets in terms of arm movement. As you can see, the rifle very loosely fits in his arms. It falls out. He's barely got a grip of it, as the arms are very short and they can't bend very well, so he's not getting enough grip on it at all. It just looks like, just about looks as if he is aiming down the sights, but if you move the figure or if he falls over, he will drop that rifle. Um, it's just got no grip to it. It is a bit of a shame. And it's a bit of a shame on the legs as well. You can't pose him in any running or crouching poses. Um, if I just rotate here, uh, he just ever so slightly bends. That's as far as his legs bend. Um, so there's, you can get a mild walk or a bit of a sprint kind of pose. Nothing as amazing as Master Chief was. Um, it is a bit of a shame that that's happened. Um, because, you know, being essentially Master Chief's kind of competitive rival in Halo 5, it's a bit of a shame that he isn't represented as well as Chief was. Um, but sculpt and detail wise, like I say, it's a perfect figure. It just seems to have been really neglected in terms of articulation and somewhat seems that they perhaps didn't kind of test out the articulation. I mean, anyone who would have like messed with the joints during the prototype stage should have really noticed that this figure is not really up to par in terms of movement. I mean, we are buying these as action figures, not statues, so it is a bit of a shame that this guy has been neglected. So overall, this figure is a bit of a mixed bag. If you want a really highly detailed, well-painted lock figure, this is a great purchase for you. If you want something that's to rival Master Chief in terms of posability, then it is a little bit more of a questionable buy. I would still recommend it as I like having complete squads and having a cast from a video game. But no doubt the um, articulation will irritate a lot of people out there. So that's it for this review, I hope you've enjoyed it. We will be reviewing more McFarlane figures along with some more Halo Megabox, Call of Duty and Assassin's Creed sets in the future. So don't forget to like, favourite and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!